Welcome back to the Billionaire Podcast. We have Alwyn Brown on the pod today, right? So Alwyn Brown is a business tycoon. He's a restaurant tycoon. He's the owner of Sharky's Restaurant Plantation Smokehouse, right? Um, he has locations in St. Anne, Jamaica, and he has locations in Kingston, Jamaica, right? The so lot. we're going to... The lot. The lot, Kingston. The lot Kingston, Jamaica. Now, we're going to dive into, you know, Alwyn, Alwyn Brown's journey, you know, from, you know, being a construction worker to being one of the biggest restaurant owners on the island and his expansion plans. So stay tuned for the pod. You know, be sure to like, share, subscribe, share to your friends and family. Be sure to go over to protradersfund.com to get funded. Be sure to get the merch, the billionaire merch, you know, um, rich lifestyle, rich mindset merch. We got that. Give All me right? a Billy. Give me a Billy. Give me a G-Wagon. Super blessed, super rich. Get the merch. Go over to www.protradersfund.com to get funded. And be sure to join the Learn and Earn program to actually learn how we actually trade the currency market, trade the stock market. Pro Traders Fund offers funding for stock traders also, as well as Forex traders. They have 2,000 pairs they can trade. Join now. Sign up now. Winners win. Y'all know the vibe. So this is an intro within an intro. This is the second intro. The Millionaire Podcast, biggest podcast. Be sure to get the merch. Be sure to sign up for protradersfund.com to get funded. Sign up for the Learn and Earn. Be sure to get the merch. Super blessed. Welcome back to the Billionaire Podcast. We're here with Alwyn Brown, owner of Sharkies and Plantation Smokehouse, right? He's a restaurant tycoon. He has so many achievements within the hospitality industry, and we're going to hear his story today uh, on the Billionaire Podcast, right? So Khalil and I are here with Alwyn Brown. Respect for being on the pod. Yeah, man. Big you know, what I was saying to you earlier before like we started shooting, I was telling you that I really respect um, what you're doing in the, the, the restaurant industry, which is the hospitality industry, um, especially in on the North Coast, in Centon, right? You really brought a lot of life, um, especially on that strip. I don't know, mm-hmm. what, what do you call it, that strip? Oh, uh, that's the area, is Richmond. Richmond area, yeah. right? Yeah, so you brought a lot of life there as well. You know, I remember when um, you guys were just starting to build up. I never know what was going to go there, right? Yeah, everybody there wondered. <laughs> <laughs> everybody was wondering. And like, I see that you have an eye, you have a vision for great things, you know, where, like, I don't think anybody would have thought to put a restaurant right there and yeah. be able to actually push traffic there. So you're the guy that really caused the traffic jam right there. So, so anybody want to blame anybody for the traffic jam? <laughs> blame all the way. <laughs> <laughs> blame. Oh, I want to tell you, sir, um, <laughs> let me have the concept, what about people there, sir? I mean, oh, yeah, put a restaurant in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Basically, because... There's nothing out there. Yeah. But um, I did foresee the traffic. Yeah. Probably, probably not as big as it got. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so fast, but yeah. you know, it does work still. Yeah. And you did it in the pandemic, you know. That's yeah. like outside of everything, like you being able to do that within the pandemic, mm-hmm. that shows how massive your pull is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and that's how we see like, we see across the social media platforms, you see you have over 100,000 followers, yeah. right? In terms of Sharkies now, mm-hmm. I wouldn't expect such a young guy to own Sharkies, mm-hmm. right? And Sharkies has been around from what? Long like, time. What, 2012? Yeah, every time I um, go on the North Coast. 2013. Yeah. They've been around from 2013. September, let me 10 years. 10 years. So mm-hmm. it's been around from 10 years. So you've been in... So that was your first experience in terms of like restaurant, the restaurant business? Yeah, restaurant. But before that, I have a bar for about, probably about three years. Mm-hmm. Three years. Yeah. And then you also worked in, in government also. Yeah, man. I usually work for the parish council. Okay, so mm-hmm. l- let's dive into it now. So you, you work for the parish council mm-hmm. um, and then you decided to stop working and move into the restaurant business, right? Well, what was that? Um, actually, started Shark as well. In While nine, you were working, five, yeah. so you were using a salary to fund yeah, Sharkies. Yeah, literally kickstarted. Kickstarted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a little shock. Sharkies was a shop before, not what it looked like. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. Give us a give us a a a a, a, a Sharkies a, background. Yeah, a give us a Sharkies. History. Give us a no, not not just a Sharkies background mm-hmm. or Sharkies history. Because it takes it takes a specific type of person, you know, to be working their job, mm-hmm. right? And you use the the money that they, that they earn from their salary to go and take the risk to start a restaurant, right? Mm-hmm. Give us a little, you know, a preview of, you know, what sparked your, those ideas in terms of you mm-hmm. 
you know, starting that restaurant, what, what was going through your head, you know, while you were working? Like, how did you manage to transition from work to a full-fledged businessman? Mm-hmm. All right, so um, I used to go to UTEC. I mm-hmm. leave UTEC get a job at the parish council. Yeah. Um, a little after that, I usually hang out with my friend and things, so mm-hmm. eventually I moved my bar. Yeah. So we usually hang out. And my friend and hang out spot that. Mm-hmm. After a while now, I say, like, I just feel like this can't hold me. Like, yeah. I feel like <laughs> something like, bigger. bigger than that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Even though I come from a business family, because mm-hmm. yeah. um, two parents them were teachers. Mm-hmm. My father's a farmer also. Teachers mm-hmm. and a farmer. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I come from the background, but I mean, I feel like I could have done it. Yeah. So I link up with Abergin and I say, all right. I could do some business or whatever. I want to mm-hmm. do something. Um, that time, because I didn't know the construction, because mm-hmm. that's what I do at the parish council. Oh, it, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, we're seeing it now. Yeah, I was an engineer at the parish yeah. council. So you studied engineering yeah. in school as well? Yeah, construction, general yeah. construction. Mm-hmm. So, link up with Abergin now, I say, I could do something. Um, he was in construction too. So we are probably a construction company. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go on and go on until I like seafood. Him like seafood. Usually hang out and drive yeah. out. <laughs> we couldn't really find a good spot in the area. Yeah. So one day, I just said to him, say, I could do something. I could do a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Out of the blue, I don't know go to a restaurant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Never own a restaurant. I don't know. I can't cook. Yeah. <laughs> you still can't cook? Still can't cook. I'm going to cook for the man of him restaurant. Just say, oh, bring some dinner. Pull up. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so Sharky started out with me and a friend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um two I think I like two years after he passed on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So at that point now it did get burdensome for me because me I work nine to five. Mm-hmm. The restaurant department and then Sharkies wasn't what it is now. Right. So then there's a literally my teller, the sale for the day was like fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. Sixty thousand dollars. That's like joke business. Joke was business. Like before. Yeah. So when my bridging dead now, I think that was the motivation mm-hmm. initially. Do it for him. Because yeah. all of the pressure come on you yeah. now. And then me I say, oh, if this thing run down, me I look like mm-hmm. me I eat that. Mm-hmm. Get yeah. what I'm saying? I can't afford that. So I say, all right. I came up with a concept. Um, started a thing, Shark is Seafood Festival. Yeah. Reason being, okay. Shark is the right <laughs> on the beach. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I feel like it had the perfect location. Right on the beach. I need the rights on the highway, same way. Mm-hmm. You know, one way for Gamma Bay. Yeah. Half a part of Sharkies. Half a part of Sharkies. One way for Gamma Bay, one way for Gamma Bay. Yeah, yeah. Half a part of it. So, yeah. the intention was to drive traffic. Mm-hmm. We never did big yet or nothing yet. Mm-hmm. Start the festival, get some crowd and some traffic. I realized the business start to pick up. Mm-hmm. Um, push up for one loan and thing and start developing property. Yeah. Because we know construction. Mm-hmm. So, we start to that and we start. It start get bigger and bigger and bigger until I start to get like real serious. Yeah. Um. Yeah, true, during that time was it was rough. Mm-hmm. Cause even many of them I made all of them many of them. Yeah, you create them. All of them. Yeah. Even though I'm not cook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, I mean. Yeah. I travel. Plus the experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus, um, study the business like yeah. literally study the business. Mm-hmm. What so, people like, what people so dislike. Me, so me actually, so my job was to find out what people like for them. Mm-hmm. So, them and us didn't like it, but me, I go make them like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright, so Shark is bloat now. And all the time, like people that say, oh, what my next restaurant, man? What my next Shark is? Mm-hmm. I mean, so look into it, I mean, I say, boy, at the time, from them time there, 2017, 2018, Shark is full on a Sunday. Yeah. Get away if I refuse people. Yeah, I know, I know about so that. Say, Do you know about that? So, I say, why am I going to open my next location if I have, yeah. if I have this thing that's so big? Mm-hmm. People are coming from all over, all over. Why? Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, around 2018 now, I decided it's probably it's time to make a move. Mm-hmm. But something to me said, it's not a next shark is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Based on the facts, I mean, it's the data. On the weekend, shark is the overloaded. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's burdensome. Mm-hmm. Okay, we don't have a staff, we don't have, okay, I manage it, we don't have the seat. Mm-hmm. So I said, the place needs something else. So mm-hmm. I sent on. I mean, I'm moving now, nowhere else right now. Mm-hmm. Plus, that's home for me. I'm a grown dog. I come yeah. from sent on. Yeah. So my support naturally I come from this one. Yeah. Um, still employed fully. Oh, you're still employed up to 2018? Yeah, man. Even when you Whoa. Broke. Yeah, man. So. Yeah, wow. I went to Florida on a time for about two weeks. Mm-hmm. And in two weeks, I started putting the concept together. Got mm-hmm. some place on. 
And I said, all right, you need something like that, smokehouse, some, some meats. Yeah. Actually, smokehouse, the name came in after. Yeah. Um, the ish, initial name I had fight was Plantation Jerk Center. Yeah. I feel like it wouldn't have such a... No. Yeah. It wouldn't have such a buzz. No. It was. As what it, because the smoke, just the smokehouse gave it a premium yeah. type of feel mm-hmm. to it. So, uh, I registered three business names. Mm-hmm. Um, Plantation Jerk Center, Richmond Jerk Center, and then Plantation Smokehouse. Mm-hmm. And then the last one just took off. Yeah, because look a bit before opening, mm-hmm. I said no jerk center they're everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jamaica yeah. That, that, that may I look fun. Yeah. Like, if I had a jerk center, you know. So even if I sell jerk chicken and jerk pork, mm-hmm. then I want to name jerk center. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's all so, it is. So that was like a last minute change. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So 2018, I spent some time on create the concept. Um, I'm sketch out the layout and everything there. Mm-hmm. Um. My approach before before me sketch out the layout, or the concepts, so I approach the property owners and tell them some we want a long term lease. Mm-hmm. And I ask what the proposal, and I say a restaurant. And you know, them kind of if and but, because they probably say this look a youth, and it's, I mean, it's, it's a large property, two and a quarter acre. Mm-hmm. When I think another restaurant in Jamaica, big so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the That's property, plantation. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, two and a quarter acres. So. They never respond to me until 2019. Mm-hmm. So a whole year after. Mm-hmm. The day when they call me and say, all right, well, I'll give the property. Mm-hmm. Before I'm going to sign the contract, mm-hmm. I resign from 9 to 5. Yeah. Yeah, like literally. Just done. <laughs> yeah. Same day. Just ask one of my co workers in the office, say, write this up for me. Mm-hmm. And they catch everybody by surprise. Mm hmm. I just make a move because I said this, I'm going to need my time. Mm-hmm. So that was the last day I worked 9 to 5. Mm-hmm. 2019. Yeah. The day I got accepted to that, that was, lease the um, property. April 2019. Yeah. Literally, the day they called me. Mm-hmm. So between April to June, mm-hmm. all I do is just finalize the concept. Yeah. Just work on it. Um, register the name. Mm-hmm. As I said, I you know, you know, registered three different business names because the first two, Never catch it. Mm-hmm. Here is Richmond. Um, so I say Richmond Jerk Center. Mm-hmm. And then I say it's going to look like it are the people in front of the scheme one in Jerk Center. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's yeah, how yeah. it's look for real. That's um, it look. Outside of Richmond, that specific area is called Plantation. Mm-hmm. I'm just there to ask what yeah. make it go with the name Plantation. Yeah. Because even social media, I say some people like them take offense yeah. to the name Plantation. And why mm. would you call it Plantation? Yeah. plantation. But the actual name of the area is Plantation. Mm-hmm. As if you check it out, you have Plantation Cove, you have Plantation Village. Mm-hmm. So, them accuse me without understanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyways, as I said, I just feel like the name never hit. Um, critical of your business. So, let mm-hmm. me explain to anybody who wants to start a business. Critical yeah. of your business is the name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the name seller first. That's yeah. what people, it, it, are people are going to remember. People are going to remember you. Yeah. That, that means I'm going to The name seller first. Mm-hmm. So, being in Florida, I said smoke house one at a time and pull up on one of them restaurants and I said, Oh, this is different. I don't know smoke house in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so I'm changing the name now. I, tell me, I already have a billboard I'm going to pay a half million for. <laughs> put up right on the property. I mean, I said, Shit, I'm going to tear this down. Yeah. What the name when it, they put up on the billboard? Um, Plantation Jerk Center. That was mm. the name on the billboard. That's it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I got to take that down. <laughs> take that down. Yeah, man, I will tear it down. So, Start building um, about September 2019 mm-hmm. and f- complete. We opened February 14, 2020. And that was right after pandemic. Pandemic start yeah. that time. So, you feel when that pandemic start? Yesterday, that was like the most disastrous thing for me ever. Yeah. As I opened February 14, that was Valentine's Day. We mm-hmm. had full house. And I remember that the, the yeah. boy placed packing up. Yeah, man. <laughs> There's fat man. And then, so it's like from, from hero to zero. Yeah. The hero. Well, yeah, to, <laughs> yeah, to yeah, hero again. Yeah, yeah. So, the first part of the pandemic was crazy for me. It was rough. Mm-hmm. I mean, for, for that build out, it wasn't my capital. I borrowed money for the build mm-hmm. out. Whatever savings I may have from business. Done. Or from a nine to five or whatever. Anything I may have. Done. Everything done. Like, any little draw, I have my money, roll up. Done. Man. Gone. Partner anyway, draw money the, done. Any US account <laughs> done. Anything anyway. <laughs> yeah. Everything gone on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because 
um, it goes without saying, if you look on plantation smoke house, that's a rich man location. You, you can't see it. Like, that's a whole heap of money. Yeah. Money spent yeah. by yeah. that. Yeah. Like, really you money. believe in quality and... Yeah, you, you, yeah. But whenever they want to drop the cut shot, so I say, all right, I say, do it. I say, go hard and done. Yeah. And it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, people go there for the aesthetic. Yeah, I, and I the go, experience where it provides. I go there and I see like, you see that thing that they do at the front? Yeah. With the sign? Yeah. I see people lining up just to take, take a picture. Take a picture there, yeah. yeah. For the... So after the after the lull in the first part of the pandemic, mm -hmm. I think um, plantation smoke house in the, in the middle to last part of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I think that was like the most popular place in Jamaica. It was. Mm -hmm. I promise you, it was. It was. Everybody wanted to go. Yeah. So like, me literally go there and want food and can't get food. Yeah. And I hear a place. <laughs> place. Because, because we backed up and then. Yeah. Let me be straightforward. In, would they have issues too because um. Customer complaining, can't get them food. Them, mm -hmm. they are all that's a part of it. Mm -hmm. Um, what they more than understand is that the restaurant has 205 seats. Yeah, when 205 people sit down for you one time, and, and 205 people with two, 205 different ideas. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> so turn over on a table where I had 10 different things. Yeah, 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 so it's easy for you. Coordinate that. Because yeah. I like, yeah, mass produce. And no. like, I say, all right, 10 of them want mm. 10 burgers. And I like hotel where cook food for a certain number of people. Mm. So, that was a rough period. I mean, them time there, it was crazy. Yeah. And the restaurant full from like one thirty go right back. All right, even, if, I can't say this now, even when they have curfew, we wouldn't be about no curfew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when curfew at 3 o'clock, we open until at 6. When curfew was yeah. 6 or 7, we open back till at 9. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, beca it became more like a, like this spot. It was yeah. a As restaurant, bar, lounge, everything. Mm -hmm. I remember no strip club no open. Yeah. No, no nightclub no open. Yeah. Nothing else no open. Not much restaurants open. Yeah. So it was this spot. Mm -hmm. So even... So like no, I tell even my other friend in my business, I say the last part of pandemic sales. Make up, up for now, everything. I can't when I see about them sales, they're like serious sales. I can't yeah. talk the numbers. Yeah. Yeah. So it but, was, you, but you guys get heavy volume. You guys get still you guys still get yeah, massive amount yeah, of volume daily. You know? Yeah man, it's just that me I said them time they just, time they, it's just you know? that, that it's just different. That was overwhelming. Yeah. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was like unreal for me, you know? Yeah. But Still, I mean, I'm not going to try to be cocky or whatever. Yeah. When they not close yourself, mm -hmm. anywhere from St. Mary, mm -hmm. go probably Mobi. Mm -hmm. You'd have to consider Pier 1 and them places too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I have a next new restaurant, Bridging the Open Mobi, so I go on to. Mm -hmm. But I don't have. Competition really. Yeah. I compete with myself. I'm competing yeah. between my two restaurants. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Bro, you saw my final note says him own shark is and I yeah, said this brother. I don't mean yeah. I say it on my head. Bro, 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 <laughs> beat the boss. I'm bro, beat the competitor bro. to the boss. Bro, crazy, and man. the funny thing is, you know, a lot of people didn't know that your own shark is as well, you know. They yeah. thought plantation was something different, somebody mm. else owned even it. Though, even though enough yeah. people know it. Yeah. And bro, the, the way you did it, bro, because you know, and after I started realizing when I say plantation, like um, plantation will run out of water mm -hmm. and a shark is branded water yeah. there. I mean, I said, there's no way you're going to sell a next person's restaurant water in, in your restaurant price, unless yeah. you add some shears in it. Yeah. You get me? Yeah, man. <laughs> then I started to see the, um, the shark is bus up at plantation yeah. until you guys branded your own bus. And all of that, all right? So Which, then you figure out, say, there's a link somewhere about the place. There's a link somewhere about the yeah. place, bro. But that, that was massive, bro. You come, and the funny thing is, like, one is just down the road. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Five minutes. Yeah, yeah, literally. And I remember one night now, and this is where everything connect. Mm -hmm. One night, I got shark is to buy food, and shark is ramp. Mm -hmm. Them say, you know, say, I'm going to go up a plantation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I said, Pla say, I'm going to plantation, and that's the same that I said, the water them. Mm -hmm. So, I go plantation and then my daddy, I'm going to say the shark is water and all that. I say, me not stupid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Something not yeah. go on. <laughs> Something not go on. That, and then, that yeah. was actually the concept. Mm -hmm. So, my father said to me, mm -hmm. like, I say, don't go tired of yourself. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you're going good, you know, but spread yourself too thin or whatever. But yeah. me know it could have worked because mm -hmm. me, me, I do my background. You have to take risks. I have to take risks. I'm a risk taker. I take mm -hmm. risks every day. Mm -hmm. So, the concept of the restaurant was actually to compete with Sharkies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because 
it was <laughs> it was something in the back of my mind say so, yeah. that here I do a restaurant man. Mm-hmm. Do because from something time, different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you check the data over the years, look even how much restaurant they are town now. Mm-hmm. Have, people have evolved. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people tired out the regular so stuff, So, I look into it and I say, well, that place that need a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Somebody has to do it. Yeah. So, me, I said to myself at that time, if if somebody if put me up the charcoal to the business, it's me put charcoal to the business. <laughs> mm, I did damage myself. Yeah. Because either way you yeah. win. It's Fox. two different companies. Yeah. Mm. Two, two different companies, two, two different, different audience. Companies. Yeah. So then, and one is seafood, one is meat, right. meat lovers. Right. And, it, and it's two, two total different entities, different mm. accounts, different... um. They pay tax independently. Mm. Yeah. Different staff, different everything. Yeah. So it's literally a yeah. different business or something by the same tax. person. Yeah. And you guys uh, you brought in that whole delivery thing. Yeah. No other restaurant does deliver on that side. Big dining I, restaurant. And I'm, t- I'm I telling that first, openly. Uh, there's online in Jamaica. And yeah. Northern. Yeah. There's no other mm. restaurant that does delivery mm. on the North Coast. And I'm openly saying that. Yeah. Because I've tried multiple times and it's always my private driver man for send or get food yeah. or you call the restaurant, oh we don't know how we're going to get the food delivered to you. In the pandemic, you're going to lose out big time because nobody so, can come so, to so you. So that was the time when I said, All right, yeah. How me I go meet them people out? Yeah. So the people who met my website, I said to them, I said, All right, I need an online ordering platform. I never hear of it, man, Jamaica, whatever. Mm-hmm. I said to them, said, literally, we need something like foreign, we can stay here. And order. Or use the phone. Order. Sorry. Order. And your food come to you. Yeah. Go on and go. We do, about two months before they come back with something. And I said, all right, this. I try it out myself. And I said, all right, man, work. Yeah. <laughs> we get yeah. some vehicle and thing now. And we we'll start delivering. And it start work. Mm-hmm. So even before we start get back people, like, in the restaurant itself, we had the sales still because we are yeah. all over for the day. Mm. Yeah, yeah, man, we go file chill and we go them time. Then. Yeah, deliver food. Yeah. Cause the thing is, I remember people are come from all over, yeah. you know, so they still want them good, good. Not even that, you know, bro. In the pandemic, bro, you lock up in the yard. Government, I tell us, say so you can't go nowhere. Mm-hmm. You need, you need food, and yeah, sometimes yeah. you even want to cook again. Yeah, yeah. You know? everything just. So get... where can I call to get food delivered, right? Yeah. And then it's in the pandemic, a lot of businesses now started to. So, oh, they might finally offer delivery and they were mm-hmm. kind of forced to do it, you know? Um, in terms of, we see a further expansion into Kingston. Uh-huh. We see in Kingston, a fried one, like a plantation smoke house at the Yasa. And you have one in St. Mary as well? No. You know, one in St. Mary? It's just no. St. Anne. St. Anne. St. Anne. So, and how that came about is that um, after we established mm-hmm. for two years now, I said, all right, we get good traffic down yourself. So. Mm-hmm. We get all the people from Kingston, like mm-hmm. all people just drive down. Even drive down no, for, even for the experience. So crazy, even though there's one in Kingston. Them drive down for people Ocho. drive down because they say they want to drive out and they like mm-hmm. the environment. Mm-hmm. Bigger and spacious. That's the same thing my said to you about. On the um, beach front. Yeah. That's the thing my dad said to you about sharkies, you know. Even if you put a sharkies in where Westmoreland, mm-hmm. you're going to, people are going to drive from Westmoreland to go sharkies in St. Anne. still going to do it because even, all right, so sharkies actually like come. A town to right beside plantation smokers, literally yeah. right beside it. Big, Big announcement. announcement. Only on Only the, on the billionaire podcast. <laughs> Only right here. Exclusives every time. Yeah. yeah. And I um, mean, we just post it, and the people them literally are like, mm-hmm. anything you can do anything what you want, but we are driving come out with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I just say go. Yeah. But but they have to do it because it's um it's brand building. Mm-hmm. And it's and. It's footprinting. Mm, yeah. Franchising. Yeah, man. So you get the brand even more recognized. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you meet customers who wouldn't be able to follow. Then nobody have their own vehicle and everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and everybody won't drive out. And everybody yeah. have the time. Yeah, so me I meet the customer then. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. So what about like, how we see you doing that expansion of moving it from center, well, not moving, but putting a next branch in Kingston, right? Mm-hmm. What about franchising? It's like how KFC would uh, franchise mm. them business out to different people and make them and just be collecting royalties. Well, what about that type of so yeah, plan? That's on the table. Mm-hmm. Um, what I wanted to do before my goddess is make sure I'm in control of the business. Like when I'm saying control, I mean I understand all of the intricacies. Mm-hmm. Um, restaurant business is hard if you ask anybody. Yeah, has to be. It has to be. I want a roughest thing. Yeah, facts. You get me, I say. You will literally cook a, a pot of soup, mm-hmm. and you serve a table with twenty people. 
Mm-hmm. And 18 people say the best soup they ever drink, and two people say garbage soup. Yeah. Because people are different, personalities mm-hmm. are different, people mm-hmm. have different cooking style, mm-hmm. um, different tastes. Mm-hmm. So we have local issues. Sometimes you have, especially when you operate a restaurant, a dining restaurant, you have people come there sometimes and they have probably have background problems and then take it out. Yeah, on the rest, yeah. yeah. So, but mm. it's a, a hospitality business. So mm-hmm. I talk to my staff and we have meetings. I mean, it's hospitality. Yeah, the customer yeah. service is amazing, yeah, to be honest. So, it, and it's something that we keep working on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's amazing, amazing because, because I've seen where, like, somebody will be there and they might have a little issue. Mm-hmm. And the way the staff deals with it, yeah. mm-hmm. it shows that they're well trained. Yeah, man. Because if, if when you operate a restaurant, Especially at dining restaurant, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. customer retention are the most important thing. Important, like I keep, I save you, I keep you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not the man who have come one day and spend $80,000. Yeah. Or the person who come four every. times a week and <laughs> then spend five or 10000 Yeah. And mm-hmm. then I come consistent and customers. Come four times a week every week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure, at them. You yeah. Know? So, so you, you guys do in house training for the customer, customer service? Yeah, man. That's yeah. good. You That's train good. them? You look like you train them still. No, no. <laughs> yeah, cause you, you know, you, you look like you have an understanding. Guys. <laughs> yeah, I do have an understanding, but I'm not really a talker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Understanding. Yeah, man, I'm really a talker. Bill and, only the Bill and your podcast could really get this done, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I expose you now, enough people don't even know you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they are the restaurant and people see me all the while, they never know me. And just I, took you see, yeah. that is the thing too, you know? That mm-hmm. is the thing. I rate that. Because it's like, it's, I, I think people use the word humility. Is it that, is that mm-hmm. the correct word? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where you know you have this and... You know, yeah. say you could have... You know you're the man. You know you could have a seat. All right, this is Sharky's. Mm-hmm. Right, you know, say you could have a big elevated platform with red ribbon around it, mm-hmm. reserved for Halloween. You the boss anytime mm-hmm. you come. But you don't choose to do that. Yeah, yeah, you you choose for a corner seat. Yeah, you choose to... I don't even have a parking spot. Anyway, mm-hmm. anyway part of them is just jump. Yeah. Just jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Humility, man. Yeah, so that, that's humility where... um And I see, and I see because sometimes I'll be passing through and I see how you be, you're interacting with evil, like people there yeah. on a regular and them don't even know. So no, it's, yeah. it's, them, don't, <laughs> them just think, them just like it. <laughs> you see, so, so, but in all fairness, mm-hmm. I mean, I work my day. I work my yeah. day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, get, I get each location of a PMA. So, yeah. <laughs> so I work. Yeah, even though I'm the sole director, yeah. you know, business go. I get mm-hmm. a salary for my bills them and whatever I do. Mm-hmm. So I get paid some of their work. Mm-hmm. So you plan to like ex- expand in terms of like, you see a lot of businesses while you're growing very big mm-hmm. and very fast, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you see a lot of businesses that they would probably go and list on the stock exchange mm-hmm. and for example, you plan to expand across the Caribbean and all, all, and all of that. Like, what are your plans for expansion? Um, it's a possibility. It's something I'm going to discuss um, with my business bank already because mm-hmm. um, I'm not really knowledgeable about that. As I say, a construction of our school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But... We are in a rotted piece of business going up. <laughs> man. <laughs> but, I yeah. mean, it's especially the stock market as you bring it up. Um, I've been getting data on it because more of mm-hmm. understand it. Mm-hmm. So, because, my transition. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. from a shark, shark is to know, um, I have two shark is location, two plantations, my cost location, at a four business. Yeah. We're transition. Mm-hmm. So, we're looking forward, we go towards the future. So, anything with I go improve the business, mm-hmm. improve the possibilities of us franchising and making branding bigger. Yeah. I'm for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so me, me, you're, you're open to the possibilities yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah. We say you have your own delivery as well, and I see, I think I see you on Seven Crave as well, too. Yeah, man. Seven mm-hmm. Crave yeah, app man. as well. Yeah, man. So we, we, we have our own vehicles. We have like four vehicles, mm-hmm. four branded vehicles. The Plantation Bus. Yeah, Plantation, and we have Sharky's vehicles, too. Mm-hmm. Um, Seven Crave have has the platform. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, them them are them are leading delivery and mm-hmm. true, true. Mm-hmm. We are sell food. Yeah. <laughs> so anybody we can sell food for we are and distribute the food for we are work with them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Matt Matt have somebody that um Moish was here, which is David. Mm-hmm. Because even that like that's that stock thing, but I really think you should do that in yeah, terms yeah. of like not necessarily not necessarily like IPO, mm-hmm. you don't need to IPO. IPO is like when you give the public some shares and all of that. Um, but in terms of like expanding across the Caribbean, I feel like your business, I see your businesses. Yeah. Your businesses. 
Definitely. doing that. But even you, you're part of Florida. Yeah. You're part of Florida. Yeah. Right? Even, even see one in a Florida. Bro, bro. You can't see one in a Florida. You put shark is our plantation in the States. Shark is actually registered Done. in a Florida already. It's there? Registered. Mm. Registered. Registered. Yeah. Touch registered it. from a Good boy. Yeah, man. From twenty. Wait, 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 wait. One more time. <laughs> Touch it again. <laughs> yeah, man. Shark is registered in a Florida from 2018. Yeah. Mm. So it's just to move on. Why I haven't moved gone there yet? People ask me as well because some people know the intention. Mm -hmm. I've said it before, but mm -hmm. it's easier for the business of Jamaica. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, access to, to funds. Mm -hmm. um, I can't call somebody right now and say, all right, go mm -hmm. to a restaurant and do this. Yeah. If we need a building right now, we have people who can call and say, oh, get this done for me in a two day time. Mm -hmm. It it will be harder in other states. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but so you're not gonna do it. Mm -hmm. We just work with what easier at the time being. Yeah. Time. Until I get to that state. But we see as a as a person that, you know, just by the fact that the pandemic mm -hmm. or you're rough, bro, you're rough up the pandemic. Yeah. I'm not talking mm -hmm. about like you, you you win like or whatever. You know, like a man barely win a race, bro. Mm -hmm. Pandemic is, is like Way down so yeah. and you the way up so and you're like, bro, where you there? <laughs> <laughs> Donkey yeah, lens, right? You know what I'm talking about donkey lens? Yeah, man, for real. Beca because even like your marketing strategies, bro, like I see, it's like, I don't know how you find so much things to keep over there, you know? Yeah. But. <laughs> yeah, man, are we alone? Are we. <laughs> Alright, so live entertainment, like, like music. Yeah. Are we, al are we have the most events? Mm -hmm. Are we have the most activities? Most activities, most events. Even yeah. like, we see you have, um, what's that guy's name? Um, Nicole Campbell's husband. Which... So. This is the middle of the pod, right? You guys are, have been watching, it's amazing, we love it. So what we're gonna be doing right now is we're gonna be giving away three funded accounts on protradersfund.com. That's www.protradersfund.com. All three you have to 10K do- 10K accounts. Yeah, three 10K accounts. So all you have to do is like, share, and comment the answer to the secret question. And the secret question is gonna be at the next section of the video. <laughs> oh, Agent Sasko. Agent then, Sasko. Yeah. We see you have Agent Sasko come down there. We see you have, I think you had like Neo there one at a time too. No. You never had Neo? No. Is that next US? Kanye West. Kanye West came Kanye West, West was, was Plantation. A, was Plantation. Yeah. And I see you had some other stuff, even like for like Mother's Day. Yeah, man. Where you had like some foreign artists there. That's what, that's what I said. I thought it was we Neo. Have whole, we have whole heap of events like regular, on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And then. Even Kiprich was there as, as well too. I know the, the Kiprich was there as well, right? Yeah, man. Holy pop. Um, my name is the for this popcorn. Everybody come there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ad for this. Holy pop people. Yeah, so that... So that... So that sure. You see that now? Normally, it would be difficult for a person, especially in Centon. You know most things normally keep in town, right? Mm -hmm. And Centon is one of the biggest parishes in Jamaica for those that don't know, right? Yeah. yeah. So me, it being a big parish, a lot of people are there. Not everybody is going to have a vehicle, as I said. Mm -hmm. Just like how they have a vehicle to come out of town, um, to St. Anne. Not everybody is going to have a vehicle to go to Kingston or have the, the, that amount of cash to spend to go to Kingston, mm -hmm. to, to go to events. And you're basically bringing, bringing it that to them. to them. Yeah, yeah. we keep the place active. Because yeah. even um, every Friday, we have a live band Friday, so we have live mm -hmm. performances. Sometimes um, local singers, sometimes we invite mm -hmm. artists. You get what I say? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I like one of the biggest things. So mm. every Friday is like a, mm. it's like yeah. a stage show basically. Yeah. So, and you know my respect where I do too. Mm. You know mm. why? Mm -hmm. Because enough people being in Centan, you know, they would have bring them, they would have bring for them business to mm. the crowd. Mm -hmm. In bring the crowd to film business. To film, to film business. one to them. And, 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 and you said the thing about that too, bro, that shows that they have a genuine audience. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because... For, for your crowd, to, like for people to actually follow your business, you know, mm -hmm. to go wherever you go. Cause right now, if you take up Sharkies from that location and you put it down at uh, one bush, the people bush are going to go known. there, bro. <laughs> the bush they have known, known, bro. Are you, Alwyn's yeah. bush. The people them probably be like starting for you in the community. The Alwyn's bush, man. I but, tell you, man. But you mentioned the name before. You said the yeah. name to Sharkies mm -hmm. become a household brand. Plantation become a household brand. Mm -hmm. So you have to find the right name so you yeah. can sit well with the people then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you say, if anything happens, if we have to move it, it's all work. Like, yeah. you know it's all work. Yeah, when I see you moving away from it. <laughs> no. <laughs> but then, so, so outside yeah. of like, um, because we know you do the construction mm -hmm. and uh, you're into restaurants, but like, what are some other stuff that you're into? Um, 
Well, my actually race. Yeah. So, yeah. my nickname, they call me Brown Speed. Last name Brown. And then, <laughs> Racing know, yeah. Speed, you know? <laughs> so, I used to drag race before. Mm-hmm. And then, um, but this start because of business and stuff. It wouldn't, yeah. Them two things, they wouldn't work out at that time. Mm-hmm. time. I try to start business and I race it. Mm-hmm. That don't work good together because mm-hmm. I can't take money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, but you know what I'm saying? I'm um, studying to do engineering and stuff like on vehicles. Yeah, man. Yeah. I feel like more interesting. Yeah, but back to the racing. So, since you know, I'm start racing again, but I don't do drag racing anymore, but the circuit racing. Circuit mm-hmm. is the, the one where you go around, you go around the, the track. On the yeah. track. More of like yeah. tracks like that out, out there? Yeah, yeah. jammers. You have jammers. Not, yeah, not scary, no, not the oval. Yeah. Do, like my dog do? Yeah. Yeah, jammers. Yeah, man, you have Dover race when you have Jamus race. Oh, so you know, like Doug Gore and the man there yeah. and Nick Lowe and the man yeah, there. Well, the car, I'm buy, buy from Doug Gore. Yeah? Yeah. So which car that? The Civic? <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's a vibe. So, so, what, so, what, what, so, what's that like racing experience like? Because we actually want to get into racing too, you know? Um, It's fun and it's fun, dangerous too. Yeah. <laughs> it's it clear, dangerous. Yeah. But the adrenaline rush is not normal. You get me? Yeah. So, we've been on the track out there with like 12, 15 people. It, mm-hmm. It feel good, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm a competitor. Yeah, you get me and say, me so, are one type of people and me a competitor. Yeah. So, so what, what, what actually sparked your, your interest to actually get into racing? Um, well, me I like it from a long time, as I'm saying, drag mm-hmm. racing. Um, no. Because I spend so much time, in a work, me say, boy, me have, to, have some fun. Yeah, me have, to have some fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get me and say. And naturally, you know, my care brand is with the two companies. So, yeah, 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 yeah. so it's not just out there. Yeah. A farm fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we're, Marketing we're again. Market same, yeah. Mm. Same. So you start winning race and them things there now, too? No, no, I'm not winning race yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a second place trophy, but. Uh, yeah. Close enough. Man. Speaking about. August 7, I'm going to win. Yeah. What's happening in August 7? August 7. Yeah, man. Dover race, we have. Dover. So. Speaking about trophies, you said that you have like a, a lot of food awards as well. Yeah. So what what's that? Um, how does it feel to to you know be be awarded for the great things that you're doing within the hospitality industry? Like, how did it feel when you got your first awards and the other awards, and to see so much positive reviews on your your trip advisor and all of that? All right. So so that are the gratification for me. Mm-hmm. So outside of operating business and then being viable mm-hmm. and naturally we are earned. Mm-hmm. That gave me the satisfaction for no set. We've been awarded for the work. That means that all of the work we put in from before, yeah. the concept and everything and the layout, mm-hmm. it makes sense. Mm-hmm. You get me and say? That is success to me. Mm-hmm. Success to me and another money. That yeah. is success to me because yeah. if I create a concept in my head, I put it on the ground. Mm-hmm. And people come to appreciate it and work with it and love it. Mm-hmm. I feel that. I'm good yeah, with that. Mm-hmm. yeah, I achieve my task. Yeah. I achieve my goal. Yeah. That is the goal, you know. Yeah. So in terms of like you know, just business in general, for people that want to actually get into whether it be the hospitality business, the, the restaurant business, mm-hmm. or any business at all, mm-hmm. um, what advice would you actually give to them to actually start, to actually maintain and to actually grow to the level that you're at right now? Um uh, first thing with officer is Try to be innovative. Yeah. Yeah, don't just go. You see, plantation smokehouse, you have to open. Billionaire smokehouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me couldn't manage. <laughs> Me couldn't manage. Yeah, yeah, restaurant for, business, rough, free. It's rough, man, bro. You yeah, have, yeah, have to be innovative. Whatever line of business you're going into, mm-hmm. whatever it, your interests, wherever your interests lay. Try to come with something. Yeah, try to come with something, come with some look of flair, come with something different, mm-hmm. come push. If I something we're gonna be the exact if I water yourself, mm-hmm. try to make your water be popular with everybody's water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So sell what, some blue water. Yeah. So so what are some of the things that you'd do to make say for instance you're supposed to sell this water right now? Mm-hmm. What are some of the things you actually do to make it more popular, more appealing to the audience and make people actually want to gravitate to this over this non branded water that we have here? First thing I do is I go name hunting. Name mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fox, so Fox. So I yeah. get my notepad and I go through the name them. Yeah. And I'm a shoot out company. I'm a, I'm a draw down to like 20 or 10. Yeah. I'm a link on and I'm say, all right, I want to think about the name. Yeah. I'm yeah. a brainstorm this. So, so you make your so audience be a part I'm of the run process. I'm going to couple of times and I say, all right, billionaire water, it's a good sell. Mm-hmm. That way I work with. Mm-hmm. After that, I find all major marketing agencies. Mm-hmm. So Gleena Observer, 
I find tropics, I find vibes, I find everybody. I say, all right, this is the new water we're going to take over this place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to push it like that. Mm-hmm. You see, even if the water and all that, yeah. I'm not going to push it like it all that. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. That's how many shall push shark is. Yeah. So, secret question number one. Where are the two shark is location located? In Jamaica. In Jamaica. And number three. What? What's the next number two. Number two. Where are the two plantation smokehouse locations? Where are the two plantation smokehouse locations located in Jamaica? Comment the answers below. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Be sure to follow at Pajama Billionaire at One Willow Banks and at Billionaire Podcast on, on Instagram, Instagram to get started. Y'all know the vibe. Super blessed. It's one of the time Shark is named bigger than, bigger than what Shark is. is. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. <laughs> because me, I push it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you have to sell a product. Mm-hmm. If you have a concept and you have an idea and you're going to start a business, mm-hmm. push it more than the next man will do the same business. Mm-hmm. And, and that should carry over the line. Yeah. And the, the thing is, I, tell, I, I love what you said earlier, where you said your own, your own competition. Yeah. yeah. So no matter how many businesses are thousand, million. Yeah. So you have a restaurant, they come out. I never watch them. Yeah. Just innovate. Yeah. At the end of the day. The data I look on is my report from each restaurant. Mm-hmm. So I get a report every night, a printed mm-hmm. report every night. Mm-hmm. And I compare and I say, oh, why on a Sunday shark is outside the smokehouse? What do I need to do? Shark is outside the smokehouse? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you find a way to make it, smokehouse outside the shark is now? Yeah, so it's a, it's a competition. <laughs> They're that bad still. <laughs> yeah, that, so <laughs> perfect business. Even, you get, <laughs> perfect business, come on. My report mm-hmm. gave me good data. Mm-hmm. I don't know much red striped beer, so I don't know much jerk chicken, so I don't know much steamed fish, so I don't know much. You use steamed like fish, um, so. QuickBooks type no, of thing? No, um, I use Restaurant Pro Express. Okay, okay, okay. So I print a report. That's a sauce. Yeah. <laughs> free that, sauce. That, that's the only got here. Yeah, <laughs> free <laughs> sauce only on the Millennium Park. Yeah, Come on, yeah. man. Too easy. Yeah, yeah, so I get a detailed report. So, so mm-hmm. I literally have the data in front of me. Yeah, and it's, it's just so funny. Like, a lot of companies or businesses would have. Somebody else just do that. Yeah. But it's just so amazing to know that you build this business up from the ground up. It's making a lot of money. It has a lot of customers. You have a lot of staff. But you're still going through, looking through, and ensuring that you know you're understanding the data so that the business can continue to grow, right? Yeah. Because when we don't tell already, people are going to evolve. You're going to have some mm-hmm. other YouTube. You're going to follow up now. You're going to follow something else. Yeah. You get me and say something. You have to stay in the loop. Yeah. For two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been tip to every minute. Yeah. 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 So it's not, I know something to play around with. Yeah, because even that, like I said, that, that's, that's, a lot, that's a thing that makes or breaks a lot of businesses. Mm-hmm. But a lot of businesses will feel like, oh, they're making millions of dollars right now and they reach the highest level and they're the boss and yeah, they're the man. Complacent. Pause. Compla- yeah. get, get complacent. Yeah. Now, half or not on you. And then thus. I've seen so many businesses yeah, fa- fall because of that. So right? They come run past them so new. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, so what? Uh, yeah. For my business, you have to take that serious. No matter mm-hmm. which business you're in. No matter what line, if I guess yourself, yeah. if I water yourself, if anything with yourself. Mm-hmm. So, what keeps you motivated? Um, seeing the product work. Yeah. Only by the time, like, even just pull up at the location mm-hmm. and let me see the crowd and me and say, because we have my, my restaurants and my blinds, depending on it, most of the weekends. Mm-hmm. Most on it, mostly on the weekends, you have come, you have to join a line to get seated. Mm-hmm. So when we pull up and see people like, in a line, I wait for to have my food. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> but you will create the menu, I know you can't cook. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we love that. So, so yeah. that keep me motivated. Yeah. yeah. Just seeing, just seeing your product work, just seeing, yeah, man. just and seeing your hard work. And it's about impact on the community, like even my staff them also. Mm-hmm. Staff them outside that me have even family we're working too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. The impact on the community is so great that we can't, mm-hmm. we can't stop. Yeah, it's a, it, it's a responsibility now, really. Mm-hmm. How do you get family and business to work though? Because there's a stereotype that you shouldn't mix family and business, because you know some family will feel entitled to certain positions. You know, you're hiring a fire a family member. Mm-hmm. You know, come on, I'll win. You know, for so much years, yo, make my manager dog. Yo, make me, me this. Yo, make my Yo, this bro, you most can give me this as your family this. dog. You see you me? Know? So how do you manage to make family and business work together? So my family know me as an ardent businessman. 
Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. taking my craft serious, I'm taking my things serious. Mm -hmm. As I'm saying, I go work every day. Mm -hmm. I go there between one of the locations. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I flip flop between, depending, mm -hmm. on, depending on what I have to do. I go work every day. So nobody's going to come and tell me, like, how oh, to do this. Mm -hmm. Why you can't tell me how to do it? Because me do it. Yeah. So if you know everything, then you go and do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You get me, sir? Yeah. Yeah. So, it's a matter of, of role playing. I'm going to say to them, even when we have staff meeting, if I take football into consideration. Yeah, you play ball as yeah, well? I, yeah. But may, may I get an idea. <laughs> I get yeah, a yeah, 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 yeah. Now, on the field, you have 11 players. Mm -hmm. Some play forward, some play midfield, some play defense. Mm -hmm. One man in my goal. It's role playing. So, no matter what, what level you're there, for the chart, you have to play your role. With. If you're supposed to get if some, you're, get if some. you're my family and you're a cashier, you're a cashier, play a role. Mm -hmm. In time after I see the improvements, I say, all right. Yeah, me, next role. I will about the person you know, and they can do something different from this. Mm -hmm. Then we'll, we'll level you up, you know, we'll promote apply you. the appropriate upgrade. Mm -hmm. So how do you deal with family members that feel entitled and them don't want to play their role, them just want to play whatever role they feel like? Um, that can go around, you know. I can't. I can't grow. <laughs> no, I mean, it's it a good happen. Yeah, it's a good it happen. Because even, even now, with my success in the business, I mm -hmm. have some people who become like a burden to me. F family, friends, mm -hmm. just like regular acquaintances, they become like a burden because they actually feel like they're supposed to do this. Yeah, they're supposed to. Yeah. Tight, man. Remember, me, I usually do this on me. You get me what I say? That's not going to change. That's just people in general. True, true, true. So just you have to know if you handle it. Specific situation. Okay. Right? So you just set, yeah. You set boundaries. Set boundaries. You set boundaries because what sense it makes me go work this hard and become successful and then everything just gone back down the dream. Yeah. Just give back everything. Just hand it out to Simple you. Simply so. laugh after me and say me I Yeah. If you did feel I didn't see him on the rasa. So you have to set boundaries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the only way to get around that. People now gonna stop being entitled. Yeah. We said that you're um in terms of like construction, right? Mm -hmm. And then you being able to actually understand your reports and your data and stuff like that, like, is it that, like, what was the process like in terms of like, well, I understand construction mm -hmm. from the point of, you know, you have built houses, it's not too much numbers you have to deal with, it's just block and cement and work. Oh, construction design. expert, eh? Well, I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> but, I feel like I have a little knowledge, yeah. right? So, <laughs> To, to now being a man in the office now and doing the numbers and understanding the data where normally it's a full department deal with that, you know, where you have a full department and a dedicated people or multiple people analyze the data and be like, you know, so we need to start selling more of this or more of that, you know, or less of this, less of that, right? Mm -hmm. How did you transition from, you know, block and steel and workman and them things there? Mm -hmm. To a point where you yeah, deal with the numbers and understanding product and understanding consumer behavior and then offering certain things to consumers. Like, how did that transition work and how is it still working for you? Or are you improving on it? Generally, I'm a passionate person. I'm passionate about something I do. Mm -hmm. So, if I carry, if I carry me a race, I'm passionate about it. Mm -hmm. If I business me, I'm passionate about it. If I'm a 9 to 5, I'm passionate about it. Mm -hmm. That is why I take it up in hand for myself. Because more take a certain direction. How I accomplish some of this is doing research. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's research. Yeah, I tell you point blank, we cannot cook. <laughs> so yeah. naturally that I go take Wolipa a Wolipa Google. Yeah. Yeah, Wolipa hours in my morning yeah. from Google. Literally. Yeah. May I, may I be honest. That's mm -hmm. that's what we use. So so because most people that be like and this is from like just things I see. With different businesses, most people would have been like, you know, I'm too big now for deal with this. I'm just probably just hire somebody for deal with this. Why never just do that? Like, what was the difference? Um, the passion. I want it a certain way. Yeah. I want it done a certain way. I want it look a certain way. I want my food plate a certain way. I want a certain image. I want a certain taste. Mm -hmm. If me hire somebody, them not have my vision. Vision might stray. You know how you want it. I have freedom concept. Yeah. All the way, everybody different. You see, everybody have a different fingerprint. Yeah. So if me want, me feel that way about my business, mm -hmm. and a, as a business operator, you must have an idea of the direction where you want to go with the business. Mm -hmm. So that's why me lead my team. 
Yeah. You know what I want to ask you? Yeah. Was, you know, success. And I was even watching an a interview with um, Michael Leachin. Mm-hmm. Right? I was watching an interview with Michael Leachin where he, he was saying there's a specific formula mm-hmm. that you might not know it right away. But the moment you become successful, you kind of, if you really analyze it, it's the same exact thing. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to tell you what it is, you know, mm-hmm. but if you were supposed to start over from zero right now with all the knowledge that you have, mm-hmm. how do you go from zero to even 10x in what you're, already, what you're making right now from the businesses or the successes that you have? Mm-hmm. Like, how would, what would be your strategy to do that? Um, <coughs> I'd move at a faster pace. Mm-hmm. I'd take i take more risk because mm-hmm. even shark is um shark is a tech long for break because mm. it kind of timid at the time never understood <laughs> yeah. the business neither mm-hmm. but the moment i understood right it, so now no, with experience that's something that's something go hard so with the foundation smoke mm-hmm. house mm-hmm. Can I get the experience? The experience now. so without the knowledge i may have now if i mm-hmm. start again from scratch you mm-hmm. have to do something from scratch i go hard from from start <laughs> Out the yeah. block. Like a bullet. Yeah, like you see in bolt. Out the like block. Like a bullet. Yeah, yeah. Straight yeah, yeah. out the And I just I win lose or a draw. So win lose or a draw. No business no sure. So, so your biggest, biggest thing is is just um you'd have taken more risk if you were supposed to start over with all the knowledge. Yeah. Um I'd have take responsible risk. Risk. Calculated, it's a, it's a calculated risk, risk right? Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't be as timid as I was before. I wouldn't so no more braver. Yeah. You know, we have more heart now. Yeah. You know, and um, I was always a passionate person, but due to the years we have in the business now, I mean, I'm passionate about anything that somebody create. Yeah. Or if so you're passionate about other people's creativity yeah, then if, as well. Yeah. Then, you know, you know, so when we find, when we find art in nowadays, mm-hmm. the entrepreneur, them, the people in the business now, whatever, them, they might do it straight out of school. Yeah. Then this is my own, this is a business. I'm at 24, 23. Mm-hmm. She had 25. Mm-hmm. It's so they must start earlier now. Mm-hmm. People are being less scared. Yeah. The time change. Yeah. Um I said this to my friend over there. Um I don't know if he really actually understand me and said, but I think now in this era the easiest time to become a millennial. Mm-hmm. Opportunities. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, people with you know, they have make billions in my billionaire <laughs> podcast. They have people, they have people sit at home, social yeah. media, yeah. they have influencers. Back in the days, we wouldn't do things like that possible. We would, we could have a phone, could have make it make yeah. No, really, you man. Why well, the pandemic oh, makes some millions. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, but, yeah. And even that, even like, like, like evil. What I realized also is that you even need to start a business. To make millions or even work a job. What you can do is just you have a plantation. Mm-hmm. How can I help plantation make some more money? Mm-hmm. Right? So, so how can I drive sales to plantation? How can I probably be managing orders or placing orders to people or running ads or something, you know? Yeah, it it's it much easier because even me, when we just start out, um Chuck is I'm usually operate the IG page. Mm-hmm. We never did get big and popular as it is now. So you manage it yourself now no. or somebody? No man, long time I have a social media manager, so I show you how times change now. Mm-hmm. You, have, you have all more job opportunities, you have all more mm-hmm. openings. Mm-hmm. You get me as I say? Mm-hmm. People are streaming and make millions. Just sit down in a chair. Yeah. Then they come out of the house all day. Yeah. I feel like you've talked more now because you're very knowledgeable about yeah. enough things. Facts. So, 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 like, in terms of like being you know, an introvert, right? Because mm-hmm. you, you don't, don't talk too much, much. Yeah. you're an introvert, right? And you don't talk unless. You know, good yeah, vibes, good yeah, energy, and yeah, me only. <laughs> some creative, some some, selective. Selective. some 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 people call me. Yeah, me not say shit. You not shy. I'm yeah, not shy. I'm I feel shy. like say you have to rate, kinda, you have to rate a person. Yeah. You have to know them. Just mm. kind of reserved. Yeah, mm. like reserved. If, if me just go up in a, a space now, me now just engage in a conversations with yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. But if me there with my friend, them you know a different vibe, a different, different thing. Vibe. A different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. So, it, so how how you manage that in terms of business though? Um, eventually I'm going to have to break out of it mm-hmm. because I have situations I have to deal with myself personally sometimes. Sometimes guests actually call me and say, oh, we want to talk to the owner or whatever. And yeah, <laughs> you have to talk to them. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes the staff them come and say, boy, and then just then come with, with a certain look because they know something I want to go. 
We never usually do interviews. Yeah. I like probably about four years ago, three years ago, four years ago. Yeah. yeah. Look at before the pandemic, we did my first interview. Because I really like the camera there. I mean, yeah. like, I like the spotlight too tough. You know what I mean? But um, the responsibility comes with. It comes the, with it. It, it, com- comes it comes with the territory. It, it comes with the territory. Yeah, because you see, the thing is, mm. me and David always said this, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. Good businesses and good people. Um, they don't go unnoticed for too long. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you might be doing your thing and you know by yourself and you're preserved. But believe me, would I find you? Just like I will come find you right now, you know. But <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I find you because yeah. like good businesses, great yeah. not even good, great businesses, they can't go unnoticed for too long, man. Like as I said, shark is shark is and plantation smokehouse, them have a footprint right there that if you if you ever move, them are gonna come find you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> We, we, we see, you talk about loans earlier, right? In terms of like, you taking loans and you are putting it into the business, you're putting your savings out and all that. A lot of people don't understand the loan process. You know, we, we even hear you mention your business banker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Most people don't have a business banker mm-hmm. or don't understand how to utilize their business banker mm-hmm. to, to the, the fullest um, advantage, right? Yeah, because your business banker, they're going to lead you the right direction. Mm-hmm. Business banker, I gonna literally tell us, all right, this come from head office. Mm-hmm. They might run some loan at this percent. Mm-hmm. It's a special, mm-hmm. they only going to get certain clients. He might tell them a real story. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We get call already, them business banker say, all right, they might have a loan now, four year term. Mm-hmm. This is the interest rate. Mm-hmm. I think you should have taken it. Mm-hmm. And I say, why? But I'm done bill already. Business banker said, so buy a house, buy an apartment, buy something. Mm-hmm. Because you know, must get this rate again right now or whatever. Mm-hmm. Me wouldn't know that half of my head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And also, when you take that to it, help you form a relation, a better relationship. With because the bank. Yeah. You're going to pay that back and then the but bank will probably won't give you more. Bear in mind, you know, taking a loan means you're broke. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing a lot of people think. People think, say, yeah. for example, a car. Mm-hmm. If you take a loan to buy a car, mm-hmm. broke. Mm-hmm. So buy a house, you're broke. Mm-hmm. Why you take a loan? You, you make so much money from your business. Why you take a loan? Why well, you need a loan? That's, no. that's what people say, you know. You, you, keep, your, you keep your cash mm-hmm. as capital. Yeah. Me keep my cash. Mm-hmm. So if me I go do something right now, mm-hmm. me I go to the bank and take, because me I go use the business and pay about that. Yeah. Keep, mm-hmm. yeah. Had, suppose an opportunity arise now. Suppose me then I tell now and me say, a one and a half acre lot of self with X money. Yeah. And the deal is no. No, you're African. Do that right away. So, Mm-hmm. Taking a loan means you're broke. Yes. Yeah. If you if you follow even people who actually reach out to them do, they use people money. They use people money, you know. Yeah, it's a mindset I'm glad you even talk about yeah. a while ago too. Yeah, because some people that scared and say, oh, I'm not borrowing money and yeah. Yeah, yeah. take a loan. That's why even when I have when I interview, like when I'm scared with some use loan. Yeah. I use loan means that you're yeah, broke. broke. Yeah. And it helped it helped to propel a business to a, a level that Probably yeah. if you did not use your own cash. And that is it. Mm. We have a responsibility at the month. Mm-hmm. There's a, gonna be an ACH payment that come out of my account. Yeah. So that money off in there. Yeah. So it, it push me, drive me, make yeah. sure the business will operate. Mm-hmm. At an above standard level. So that you can pay for that and it can maintain yeah. you and yeah, the staff and everybody. The, the intention is to have a viable business. Mm-hmm. So Yeah. And 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 the thing is they say even that loan thing, you know. To show that you have a great business is the ability your, your business's ability to repay its debt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then, and then that and <laughs> and that build up your credit with the bank too, and build up your history with the bank. Yeah. So if so if you got the bank now and say you want one hundred and fifty million, them now go buy. Them have a rich. 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 Them I might predict like probably like next year. Mm-hmm. So when you expand into like the US, bro, and you bring like plantation smokers and sharkies in the US, and you are doing the numbers and the, the traction what, you, what you're doing right now. Mm-hmm. Well, you see the thing about Jamaican restaurants in the US, them just that's it, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. And it's not the food is amazing too, and you don't have great reviews. People are going to be like 
especially a lot of Jamaicans over there, mm -hmm. they went to be like, Shark is there. Yeah, man. People ask for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah people literally ask People down them. here, we used to the restaurant, them family oh. abroad. Yo, oh. Shark is just landing a place, and you know, so you've got to check it out. They're amazing. So it's crazy. Sometimes, my if my dad finally like, my dad knows me, and I say, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, do you have you open a restaurant? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they want to go, they want to yeah. find it. Yeah, they want, and they want to support, and they want to say big up Sentan people. Yeah. yeah. Big up old Jamaica, yes, but. Big up Sentan. Yeah. Sentan, how it starts. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. And, and also, because when I, when I travel, right? He's a man in a bro. I love Jamaican mm -hmm. food. And then you have this Jamaican restaurant that would have to drive like all like four hours. Mm -hmm. And I drive it. Yeah. We go there, bro, because I saw Jamaican, Jamaican step, and you go there, you it pack, and yeah. the same couple people. Mm -hmm. Well, I drive the same four hours for go, yeah. <laughs> for go there. So, in terms... We have cultural people, we love the culture. You love yeah. the culture, and, and not a lot of restaurants will have culture, and you guys have a great culture. Yeah. You see, the thing about the U.S. also, and this is just not about the U.S. alone, right? But the thing about the U.S. is, so what are you doing here, bro, in terms of like that, those loans and all of them mm -hmm. things there, with the business, you're paying them back. Is if you got in the US, bro, and you do that. But well, I recently started to utilize like um I, I use my payment processors in the US, one of them, right? Mm -hmm. Or and then um what I started to do is just run a lot of money through those payment processors up there. And I'm getting so many offers where every month I'm getting a different offer. Yeah. Um I have businesses on Shopify, mm -hmm. like different accessories business and all type of other businesses. Mm -hmm. And I'm just getting loan because what, what the US believes in, bro, is that you're doing good, let me help you do better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Them they want to lend some money. Them want to lend you some money, bro. They don't care why you're doing it, you know. They just want to lend you some money. Yeah. But them know so, all right, you do something already, you yeah. must can do something. You're good more feet. Yeah, them know you're good feet too, so and, they're not and, shy away and from you. And them want that interest. Yeah. They want the interest. Is a is a is a each one help one situation. Yeah. You know, they might help you better your business, you and give them like an interest. Yeah. But your reputation is extremely great here, mm -hmm. um, especially with the banks. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you can just transition also. And, and let me not say transition because trans most people would think that transition is like step Moving, away from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's more of evolving. just expanding, yeah, evolving, evolving, right? You know? that def that's a given. It's not, it's a, that's a no-brainer, definitely. Yeah. Overseas in a short order. Mm -hmm. So what's next for you? Um... More businesses, more... <laughs> more competitor for um, sharkies and plantation. Not, not necessarily. Yeah. Restaurant business either. Mm -hmm. Because um as a businessman you have to think wide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's other Diversify things. Diversify your portfolio. Yeah, there's, there's other things. Um I feel like you might go back in a construction team. I'm going to ask him. I mean, mentioned Lan a while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that, 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 because yeah, we have a um Brown Speed yeah. construction, you know. Residential property in a Califal more than some California. Cut no Califal. Which where is that? I don't know it. Yeah. How big is it? Um, uh, acre, I want to put some apartments on it. Mm. You know, so to come on, I have a couple of land as well, but I'm not a construction man. Yeah. You get me? You're not a construction man. And my biggest, I had a bad experience. I spent like 300,000 US to build out, a, build out somewhere. And it was just so much difficulties with like the contractors and them thing there. You get me? So I said, the next time I go in on this, I have to go in there with somebody where. Well actually have skin in the game mm -hmm. and they actually have money too because mm -hmm. you see the thing is doing business with a person who has money versus a person who doesn't have money the quality is different the, not just the quality alone but you have money so you now got really yeah i think for sure for man yeah you get me that would mean man they yeah. might do it for the love of doing it, for but, the purpose of doing it. Same like how you love see and sharkies just, and plantation operate they and love see them construction at work and i think just the love off it, you know, but the fact that you're not eager, you're not, yeah. you're not, you're not just jumping for just because I know the money they might do it yeah. for. Mm -hmm. for just, you know? So, I have them just sit down and bro, like, I buy them up, especially in the pandemic. Because mm -hmm. in the pandemic, we're all like land banking, yeah. So, I'm just a go around the place, I'm just a find them, I can find and I buy, 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 buy. So, I have, a, I have acres and them things you put down, and then I have potential like partnership with other stuff yeah mm -hmm. but it's just find the right people and for work with but we, we will have the conversation yeah, bro yeah man but i really respect the facts you come on the podcast today I really respect the facts that you know you you, you were able to, to share a lot of knowledge mm -hmm. with us definitely you know and we're looking forward to more conversation and more podcasts as well too. yeah man thanks for having me yeah, yeah man respect right, for the podcast bro you got bro once the car is still in you know? mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, show it. yeah man <laughs> Oh yeah, for the people them that don't know, 
What are you supposed to know? <laughs> I'm going to remind them. We're going to remind them. Yeah. So what are the locations for the for Sharkies? All right, so for Sharkies, Sharkies is at Salem, Runaway Bay. Yeah. It's Salem Beach, that's the address. Salem Beach, bro? Yeah. yeah. Yes! Yeah, man, Salem Beach. I never know, so that's the name Salem, and I'm always think that Salem was up to where the pudding man is. No, that's a prairie. That's a prairie? Yeah. Parry. Yo, everybody yeah, yeah, know that food man is still there. Food man. Food man thing, tough man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so Shark is in Salem, you know, and, and actually, we intend to home Shark is um, at the lot in Kingston in uh, less than two weeks. Plantations mm. at the lot. In less than Plantations two smokers. weeks. Well, what's it? Why only yeah. see this? Why don't you have to post the pod next week? You know? <laughs> yeah, man, come on, bro. The inside, what are the insiders Monday. if they don't get the insiders? Monday, before Monday, the outside I'm going to post happens. the podcast next week. Yeah, man. I forget this out. <laughs> you see my look around the place? <laughs> I forget this out. <laughs> yeah, man. So, 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 plantation is at the lot right now, yeah. and then shark is, is going to the lot right. also. Right, mm -hmm. and then plantation, the original plantation smokehouse is Richmond Saint Anne. Richmond, Richmond Saint Anne, and, and then shark is in Salem. Is in Salem, yeah. right? Yeah. You guys can find them on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram, uh, well, our social media at Shark is Seafood Restaurant and Plantation Smokehouse. Mm -hmm. So, okay. we're at Twitter, Facebook. Instagram everything. Mm -hmm. At the one. Okay, okay, bro. Respect for the respect for the pod, bro. You're the real yeah. big man still in the one. Winners win. Yes, yeah, guys, this has win. win. Alwin Brown. Winners win. Now we just done the pod. Alwin is gonna show us the big machine. Yeah, we're gonna take it too. So we'll get two, we'll get a black and a white. Big up, bro. Heavy. <laughs> Billionaire pod, you know? See that? Ready? Oh, that's it. Heavy, bro. Nah, press that. I'm not even press it. Yo, give me one out of that. Huh? So that was Alwyn Billionaire, Alwyn Brown, Plantation Smokehouse CEO, Sharky CEO on the Billionaire podcast. Khalil, great you know, pod. Great pod. Great pod. Y'all know the vibe. Know the Super vibe. blessed. See you on the next pod. Be sure to sign up. www.protradersfund.com. Get funded. Be sure to get the learn and earn. Be sure to get the merch. The big bad merch. See this? Give me a G-Wagon. Or give me a Billy. Give me a Billy. <laughs> <laughs>